there are many nutritional and medicinal uses for moringa. All parts of the tree are usable from the roots to the stem, to the leaves, to the flowers, and to the pod. They, the roots, you can use that as a tea. And then the trunk, you can scrape it, squeeze it, get the juice, put in your cut skin, and your skin will heal. Some cultures have used moringa as a medicinal plant for thousands of years. McClatchy says moringa is worthy of its reputation as a tree with unusual nutritional properties. Thank you. Moringa is one of these trees that is a, a multi-purpose plant that fulfills such a high percentage of kind of basic needs that uh, when people get used to using it, uh, they really can't see what it's like to live without it. And many cultures don't. Dr. Mark Olson is a botanist and a leading expert on Moringa. He teaches at Instituto de Biología Universidad Nacional Autónoma de México in Mexico City. Here, he is visiting a new Moringa farm about two hours outside the city limits. So they've just planted these here, and soon they'll be nice and big. Olson says that while Moringa can grow in places like Mexico or Hawaii, the tree is native to arid subtropical regions, places like Africa and southern India, hot places where Moringa has proven its persistence. And this is a plant that really does uh, do extraordinarily well in, in, in some of the most difficult areas, in areas that are very hot, areas that are very dry, areas where, where other things are very difficult to cultivate. Some of the things I think are most exciting about Moringa for example, the high vitamin content. There's a lot of vitamin A in the leaves. Uh, and uh, worldwide, that's a problem. Uh, a lot of people uh, have problems in development of their eyes because they don't have enough vitamin A. We are having an epidemic of cancer and cardiovascular diseases and many other chronic diseases. Um, it, it's just, it's because we basically do not eat what, what we are supposed to eat. Most of the plants are famous for a particular type of nutrient, like for instance, um, the orange or the lemon um, is famous for a high content of vitamin C. The spinach, for instance, on the other hand, is famous for its iron content. Moringa is very unusual because this single plant contains a wide variety of nutrients, but also in quite very high amounts. Marcou says this concentration of nutrients combined with low calories and low sodium content makes Moringa an ideal energy food or supplement that can help offset the typically unhealthy Western diet. Many of the Westerners are also deficient in antioxidant and anti-aging substances that are mostly found in plants. Antioxidants, according to the National Institutes of Health, protect the body cells and may prevent cancer. And Marcou says Moringa is a treasure trove of antioxidants that happen to work hand in hand. Antioxidant substances and antioxidant vitamins work together in the body. For instance, it's known that selenium works better in the presence of vitamin E. Moringa has high amounts of selenium and has also vitamin E. While many plants contain antioxidants, Dr. McClatchy says that Moringa is also high in the nutrients we usually associate with meat. Moringa is well known for being a a good source of leafy green vegetable protein. And uh, you, you don't get a lot of protein out of uh, many vegetable foods other than like beans and things like that. So uh, getting it out of the leaves is really a big deal. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, Moringa contains 18 of the 20 amino acids, building blocks of proteins that are found in the human body. And says Marcou, Moringa is one of the few plants that contains all of the essential amino acids. Moringa contains all the nine essential amino acids that actually we cannot produce. Um, their presence, but also their ratio, is very beneficial. And um, it is estimated that this ratio is very good for absorption and for being bioavailable to our bodies. Moringa has, it comes very close to being a perfect source of nutrients in terms of variety and concentration. So that is, I think, very unique about this Moringa tree.